My dear brothers and sisters, in our opinion, fasting is the royal road to rejuvenation, healing, and repair. It strengthens the immune system, promotes weight loss, it decreases the risk of heart disease and cancer, it improves the functioning of the brain, and increases longevity. The Royal Road, indeed. It's also a great way to strengthen the immune system. It is effective against the common cold. Once your body adopts to burning fat by fasting, you'll find it's a great way to lose weight. After coming off a fast, one feels cleansed, renewed, and invigorated. It's a great way to reset, to reset and recreate yourself. At Living Tree Community, we look upon fasting as an integral part of healthy living. Remember that the important part of the fast is coming off it properly. Break your fast ideally on freshly made juices, especially carrot juice. Spring water and herbal tea as well as fruits and melons are wonderful. Why not? Why not scoop out a watermelon or a cantaloupe, put it in the blender, press the button, and you have Melon soup, what a wonderful way to break a fast. The main thing is to avoid stuffing one's face. And especially when one gorges oneself on carbs, one can undo the benefits and all the hard work and discomfort of the fast. Now, if going on a fast is too much for you just now, why not consider an intermittent fast? Most people eat across a span of 12 hours a day or more, and many even longer. Sadly, this sort of thing, this sort of snacking endlessly, will wreak havoc with your metabolism over a period of time. So instead of three square meals, why not consider skipping breakfast? That's right, skipping breakfast, and eat lunch and dinner within an eight hour span, making sure that you stop eating three hours before going to sleep. I myself fast every Sunday through Tuesday morning, and I do this every week. It's a great way to prepare yourself for the week ahead. So for 36 hours, I fast on water. In this way, each week, I begin anew, refreshed and invigorated. Now all this is on an individual level. So let's stand back, if you will, and look at ourselves in perspective. The diet of most Americans is so estranged, so, so unnatural. Not only do they eat a preponderance of processed food, but 60% of it is ultra-processed. This includes breakfast cereals, pizza, chicken nuggets, soda, chips, snacks, packaged baked goods, microwavable frozen meals, instant soups, and so much more. Furthermore, this stuff contains unnaturally high amounts of sugar, salt, 
processed industrial oils, and on healthy fats. Excess sugar consumption is especially destructive. It's a highway to obesity and diabetes. Is it any wonder? Is it any wonder that 140 million Americans, 140 million Americans are obese? Imagine, 42.4% of the population are obese. Moreover, 72%, 72%, well over half, are overweight. Even more tragic, 20% of American children and teens are obese. In other words, nearly a fifth of teens and children are obese. In the 1970s, it was all of 5%. Obesity is the leading cause of disability and chronic illness worldwide. A recent study found that death rates due to COVID were 10 times higher in, con in countries where more than 50% of the population were overweight. That's us, my friends. In a situation so out of balance, is it any wonder that there is so much fear. How isolated from one another we are. How remote. How distant. All the lonely people. Where do they all come from? Upon this substratum is it any wonder that there is crisis after crisis? We are on the precipice, for example, of a severe economic downturn. Then there is persistent inflation, and there is the death of the middle class, along with the polarization of wealth, and tragically enough, there is the increasing threat of war. In this situation, what else is there to do, brothers and sisters? What else is there to do but to proclaim a national fast. That's right, a day of just drinking water, a day of healing, a day of taking stock, a day of making resolutions, a day of contrition, a day of redemption. Yes, brothers and sisters, a day of fasting on water for one day, a national holiday, if you will, a national fast. I am convinced that we will emerge. We will emerge more alive and more vital despite the challenges, despite the perpetual crises. You who defeated radical evil in World War II. You will lead us through the cleansing and regeneration we so desperately need. You will reverse the cultural meltdown you will redeem us. 
we will yet plant here, brothers and sisters, an edible schoolyard for the American spirit. Kindly remember that fasting is not for everyone. Before undertaking a fast, we recommend that you consult with your licensed practitioner. Your comments and criticisms are always treasured. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for allowing me to share with you.